A northern Kentucky man believes his own daughter robbed him to feed her heroin habit. And it has been much more than emotional pain for that paraplegic man. A different set of thieves targeted him days later. And not on your side, Scott Wagner shows us why that theft caused so much more than emotional pain. Harry Burgess has to fight pain every day. A lot of pain. And the agony hits on all sides. The most obvious betrayed by his wheelchair. I fell three stories. Uh, 19 years ago. Complications from that fall eventually cost him his legs. Years later, the pain still so bad he takes heavy prescription medications to get through the day. Oxycontin 60s and my Percocet 10325. But physical agony is only part of Perry's life. Betrayal is another. About a month ago, over $3,500 disappeared out of his account. I believe it was my daughter. He says she was hooked on drugs. Probably mostly heroin. He reported the crime. She moved out, leaving him to fend for himself. Then came a knock at the door. They said it was the police. Perry opened the door and was attacked by two men. They knocked me out of my chair. They went straight to my bed where my pills wall was grabbed it and ran out the door. It was then he faced a third kind of pain, frustration. He was now without any medications whatsoever and... The doctor wouldn't replace him. He was told those prescriptions could not be refilled early for fear of the patient becoming addicted. His spectrum of pain had come full circle. He says he was forced to deal with the physical pain of his injuries, cold turkey. On a scale of 1 to 10... I was in 10. Now he's back on his meds, but that's only partial relief. A month later, Burgess is still waiting for the police to make an arrest so he can try and recover his stolen money. Scott Wagoner, 9 on your side, Dayton, Kentucky. In the meantime, Burgess has installed a video security system, and he says he plans on buying a gun. New 